Good afternoon, hello, welcome to the Triathlon Dan YouTube channel. My name is Daniel, this is Liz, and today we are at the Outlaw Half Nottingham, but it's the day before the event. When this video goes out, I will have hopefully, touch wood, have done the event, so feel free to check in my Strava in the link down below. Hopefully there should be some swim, bike and run action in there. So today is all about getting my bike racked in uh, transition, going to register and getting my race number, having a walk, walk around the expo and trying to stop you from spending far too much money. Yeah. What else do we do on things days like today? Eat ice, ice cream. cream. Ice cream. Yeah. yeah. And just generally soak up the balls and get excited for the event. That's it. The sun is shining. Mm. We can hear them on the tannoy over there. Mm. So wicked. Should we go and get, get going? Get stuck in. Yeah. Let's go. It looks more different than it actually feels. So, although I've done quite a few of these things now, I'm still keep forgetting things. I've gone into transition, put my bike somewhere in the general direction of where I'm racked. I've got bin bags and tape to cover it up for overnight. So, I've gone back to Liz, got all that stuff, now walking back down transition. So, swim exit is there behind me, and you come straight into transition then, but then transition is quite long, so it goes all the way down there. It's not as long as it has been in previous years, but it is still pretty long. I like this bit because there's not rows and rows of bikes. So if your bike is in this this bit, you're not you're not going to run past it, or you're probably not going to run past it. When we get a bit further down, I think there's another row. So I just need to make sure that if I need to change rows, I remember which way it is. I'm not making the same mistakes I did last week with transitions. So I'm going to really spend some time <laughs> revising this. And this video, in fact, does help me remember that. So just come out and swim. Plenty of time to run down here, take my wetsuit off faff around my watch, all those sorts of things. Should have enough time to do that. And then, yeah, let's get my bike set up in transition. <laughs> all right, so bike is wrecked and ready. I put a couple of bags on it. It's not actually forecast rain, but I do like just putting bags over the electrical bit. So over my extensions, blips on the base bar and the extensions and the mech at the rear as well. I just think if there's like morning dew or something, I'm just a bit paranoid basically that electrics are gonna fail. I do have a spare battery in my back bag. So in the morning, if it doesn't work, I can swap it, but ideally it'll be okay. That's Let's go and have a look at some other bikes, shall we? Very nice colour Ribble Ultra Try here. That is a bit of me. Watch shop cockpit looking very bling. Disc in a deep front wheel. Very nice. Blipo pedals. That looks smart. That's a bit of me, that. In a bigger size. I'm a big fan of Giant Trinities. I've never had one, but I know a lot of people that have had them. They're relatively good value. They're easy to use and easy to work on. The components are sort of mid-range to so afford or to replace. This bike here has got Ultegra Mechanical. It's got some um, sort of semi-deep section carbon wheels. Ultegra Crank. Uh, obviously time trial bars, drag to bars. That's a real nice spec bar. I bet that bike didn't cost the earth, but I bet that's 99% as fast as something that like it's next to, like a more fully integrated Ribble sort of setup. Little top two bag on the top as well. Big fan of the Giant Trinity, to be honest. What's a nice bike. This was my first ever time trial bike. Not this exact one, but the same model. Planet X Exoset 2. These things are an absolute bargain. The frames are fast. You struggle getting wider ties in them, and they've got horizontal dropouts, and there's no integration stuff, but they are so cheap. I would always advise if one comes up super cheap, get hold of one, because that is pretty much as fast as most modern day time trial bikes. I rode a 218 bike split on my Planet X in 2019 with sort of similar setup, deep section wheels, mechanical group set, so you can pedal it. This looks like a really well optimized bike. It's a Trek speed concept. Looks like it might be in my size as well. Zip 404 front wheel and a Zip Super 9 disc, the new ones as well. The paint, I'm not sure this light will be doing it justice, but the paint is absolutely lovely. It's like a green and purple sort of pearlescent -y color. Wax chain, one by drivetrain, look Kio aero pedals. These things are from Watt Shop, they're like 20 quid or something. They're supposed to save half a watt as a pair. So that's a quarter of a watt right there. So yeah, I really like that bike. That looks um, like a bit of me. Top two wise as well, there's a big storage space in there. So also get loads of gels in there. I don't know, oh, hydration is an aftermarket solution, but look how clean that is. That is smart. That's a really well, really well set up and sorted bike and that person is number two so I'd imagine they're gonna be moving pretty well. As well as those you know super trick time trial bikes there's also road bikes and not even like super aero super fast road bikes. This here is a Cervelo R3 so Cervelo's climbing bike and it's a few years old I'm sure the only one might, might mind me saying uh, it's not particularly had a lot of love I don't think in it's quite mucky but clip-on bars I'm assuming it's well set up it's got bottles all over it 
if it gets you around a bike split and gets you around a triathlon you don't need to have all the top tier equipment i love seeing people ride things like that and actually ride people on more expensive stuff so good to see you ride what you want to ride if my dad did a triathlon or another triathlon he has done one uh, this is the bike he would use frame bag top tube bag it was good in my day some sort of thing but again this sort of thing if it works for you and it gets you around absolutely fine clip on bars i'm assuming it looks like it's done quite quite a few miles so the rider's probably quite used to it sora mechanical my first road bike had sora mechanical i remember how it was reflectors on the wheels fair play love to see it hope you have a great day out there this is your bike these have really grown on me, the new Speed Max. I love the deep two profiles. I love the cockpit all integrated. Absolutely is a bit of me. So I think I prefer a blue one, but um, there's not much to say. Ultegra DI2, DT Swiss deep section carbon wheel set, top tube storage, integrated hydration, bottle behind the saddle all already built in. These bikes are just well sorted, but um, yeah, obviously they come at a price tag, don't they? Another Planet X, and this is actually what the original Exo set disc wheel, deep section front wheel, the Planet X stock base bar, which I actually run on my bike, one by drivetrain with a pretty decent size cassette on the back. I, in fact, is that a 12 speed mechanical? It might be, I can't bother to count the teeth. That will shift and that I do not think was that expensive, so fair play. Liz, I'm really sorry I was in transition for so long. Let's do some videos about bikes. Yeah, you're ages. I had to text you saying how hungry I was. <laughs> What's for lunch? A uh, cheese and pickle baguette followed by an ice cream. I've got exactly the same and I will be having an ice cream as well. So, yeah, real good little vibe in the event village. <laughs> Loads of different stalls and stands where Liz is going to go and try and spend some money. So I'm just having a look at the swim start. So down there, there are three pontoons. There's a time trial start tomorrow. So they're setting off two athletes off of each pontoon every six seconds or three seconds. I don't know. Basically, it's a rolling start and you get going pretty fast. So normally people queue for the top one, which is slightly shorter. I normally go for either of these two because it's easier to get off at the beginning of the wave and me getting off at the beginning of the wave is going to be a big help for me hopefully cycling with some people now this close to the race nutrition is really important so i've not had an ice cream liz has got two <laughs> liz that's a bit excessive don't you think i think you're trying to oh no i'm not no i'm not <laughs> just wiping the uh, mint chocolate chip around from around my mouth okay right what we're we doing now walk back to the car mm -hmm. should we end the video there mm. yes thank you very much for watching if you haven't already please do hit the subscribe button down below race video out later this week probably friday or saturday and i cannot wait to get stuck in so See you soon.